Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. If you've ever found yourself out to a fancy dinner, something with a lot of courses, you may have been served sorbet in between a couple of those courses. Now the point of sorbet is to cleanse your palate, that way the chef who's in the kitchen crafting your food to taste a very specific way knows that when you taste it, it's going to taste the way that he designed it. Now, we drink a very expensive drink that has been crafted by master distillers to taste a very specific way. And we kind of owe them the same respect, and we should make sure that we're cleansing our palates, especially if we're having multiple whiskeys in a night, or if you're doing a whiskey tasting. Now, you might say to yourself, I'm not going to serve sorbet in between my whiskey, and you'd be right, that would be ridiculous. So what should you eat or drink in order to cleanse your palate while you're drinking whiskey? Well, I've put together a list, and I'd like to share it with you, so stick around and we'll get right to it. So let's start off with the drinks first. So the first thing that should pop into your mind is anything to clean your mouth out basically is just water. So you could either do filtered water or you could do bottled water. Obviously bottled water is a little easier to just keep on hand, you know, keep it cold, whatever you want. But if you wanted to kind of style it up a little bit, you know, use some filtered water, put it in a pitcher, give everybody a tumbler, you know, or a rocks glass and just to pour it into. Um, I think if nothing else, they'll appreciate being able to drink a little bit of water in between all of these whiskeys because you know, let's face it, drinking several different whiskeys, even when you're tasting, it's still gonna kinda get you a little drunk. So drinking water is always a good idea. Next, you might wanna consider some tonic. Now, Poland Springs, you know, or whoever else you want, it doesn't really matter, um, they make a decent tonic. So you could either do completely unflavored tonic, which, you know, if you're mixing drinks around your house anyway, you probably have hanging around, or a slight lemon flavor will not affect anything. Actually, in fact, it could totally kind of reset your taste buds. So that's really it with uh, the drinks, but what you want to keep in mind is that it's mostly to get rid of any just tannins or junk that's sitting around in your mouth. Um, you know, if you're, if you're going down this list, uh, drinking Laphroaig, you're really not going to accomplish much drinking either one of these things. So you also want to keep in mind that you want to start with some of the lighter stuff. All right, moving along from drinks, let's move over to foods. So. This one, just doing my own research and, and trying things out, I found this to be kind of an interesting choice. So a banana is actually, oddly enough, a really good choice, but only before you start drinking. So let's say that you, you know, went out to dinner with your, your wife or something or your husband, and you come home and you want to have a couple of different uh, whiskeys. Now, assuming that you're not too full from dinner, you might want to eat a banana because you've got a lot of different flavors going on in your mouth and this thing is very neutral and this mixed with some water will completely cleanse your palate. So consider a banana. You could also go with some tortilla chips. Um, some fresh tortilla chips are actually really good because between the texture and just the fact that they've kind of got a, a let's call it like a bland taste, you know, you don't want something super salty. Um, they'll really cleanse your palate and the texture will help to remove some of the tannins as well. Now my personal favorite and something I personally use are oyster crackers. And the reason for that is that you can put them into little dishes like this, give one to each person at your table, and that can be their thing for the night. So while they're chugging away at their whiskey, they can, uh, you know, just snack on these little things. And I mean, frankly, giving people a little, little bread kind of food will help keep them a little bit uh, sober as well. So probably the most important thing to remember when you're doing a uh, whiskey tasting or trying several things yourself is that you want to be conscious of the order that you're going. Now, I've actually put these in a particular order. Now, some of these aren't exactly like you know, world-renowned whiskeys, but, um, you know, let's say we want to start with like a Highland Scotch and then work our way over to the Islays. You don't want to go backwards because if you're just going to fry your taste buds with some PD, PD smoke, you really don't want to do that because it will be very hard to reset your, your taste buds after that. And you're going to lose any of the subtlety that you would pick up on the front of this line here. So I hope that this information has been really useful to you, and I hope that your next uh, whiskey tasting is better because of it. If you've been enjoying this video, then go check out some of my other reviews or some of my other informational videos. I'll put a couple links down in the uh, description, and I hope that you continue to watch. 
Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary. I hope you have an awesome rest of your night.